Coach Nurse, you've spent a week with the USA women as the batting specialist coach. What are your impressions of the team? Well, from what I've seen, the, the team is it's a pretty good unit. They have some young players, some, some inexperienced batsmen, but with time, I guess the, the techniques and the understanding of the game would improve. The team is pretty well rounded. I, I do think that the bowling seems to be the, the main strength of the team. And the work ethic in the team has been very good throughout the camp. And we've, we've really stuck at the task, looking at improving the games all the time. We, had, we did a lot of practice. We had a practice game, we did game scenarios. And each time that we, we took on a game scenario, you could see the players improving and getting a better understanding of the game. Given that the USA team was formed officially in 2009, a mere two years ago, and includes a mix of experienced and inexperienced players, do you think the team is comparable to established women teams that you know? In terms of the work ethic, it is comparable to a lot of other teams that I've worked with. But the, the, the disparity will come in terms of the amount of cricket that the USA ladies would have been playing in comparison to the other teams, whereas the girls in Barbados, they will play every weekend. While, you know, the girls in, in the US, they find it difficult to get together as a team as often as they would like. So I think that that is the biggest disparity. And probably in terms of the, the body structures and everything, the, the, there's a lot of strength training that is done in the Caribbean and especially with the Barbados team so that they're able to throw the ball in off the boundaries full, hit numerous sixes, hit a lot of boundaries. I guess in time as the, the USA's cricket starts to continue to develop, I think that is an aspect of the game that will be improved. How do you feel about the USA team playing in next year's West Indies Regional Tournament? It would be fantastic. It, it, it would help the USA girls to have the exposure to playing more games on turf, playing at a higher level of competition and it would get them accustomed to playing cricket often because as we would have seen in the camp having to get up every day do the same things over and over doing cricket for nine days straight it started to, to take its toll on the team and as a, a made to understand in Bangladesh it would be nine games in 14 days which will be taxing so the more cricket the more organized cricket that the USA girls get to play the better for the team. What would you say about the mental toughness of the US team? It's not bad. It's not bad. Although we can only gauge it from the training sessions and stuff. We've not really been able to play as much games as we would like to see how they would react in an actual game situation. Today they, we, we played one game where we defeated the Barbados 11 and today now we're playing against the West Indies the left side and this will be the true test of their mental, you know, the mental preparedness for this level of cricket. In preparation for the World Cup qualifiers in Bangladesh, how many more camps do you think would be adequate to prepare the team? Ideally, three, three camps before the, the final team takes to Bangladesh would be great. It'd be nice to have one immediately just before the, the team is announced or just before they leave, and then two others before that. You can have one that is only like two, three days, and then an extended one, because I could understand how with the girls working, no one is really a professional cricketer, so time from work and everything will play a part. But I do believe that three camps where they work on a lot of technical stuff and getting accustomed to the one-day format of the game will be beneficial to the team. I'd just like to wish the girls all the best in their future endeavors, and I hope that they do as well and fulfill their potential in Bangladesh and onward from there. And just remember that, you know, anytime they, they want any coaching, they can always come over to Barbados or we can organize that we come over and help with the camps and stuff like that. Thank you, Coach Nurse. This is USAWomensCricket.com reporting from Christchurch, Barbados.